Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and I'm going to be planning in my Walmart Pen and Gear Traveler's Notebook that I use as a journal. And I'm using Dollar Tree inserts or Dollar Tree Planner as an insert in this notebook. And this is last week that seems like forever ago but this is last week and i'm moving on to the next week which is the 26th through the first we have very few pages left in here and they're looking kind of ratty but anyway so let's take this out and see what we can do i've decided that I want to try and do something a little different this week. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to try it. Um, I don't really have a lot of Halloween stickers or washi that I haven't already used. So I thought I would try to use some of my supplies in a different way. And I've also been intrigued by vellum stickers. So I'm going to try it with vellum. I might end up doing it on sticker paper, but I'm going to be doing some stamping and stenciling. I've pulled out some stamps that I might want to use. I think this is probably a little big, but just in case. Um, I've got those. i got the number stamps. And I do have some day of the week stamps. I didn't pull those out. And then this pattern. And what I was going for was kind of like a gothic uh, vampire's lair type theme. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull that off. Um, but I'm going to try and see what I can come up with. Oh, and here is another corner stamp. I may pull in different stamps um, as I go, as I think of them. So hopefully this is going to work. Oh, and I also have these uh, Tim Holtz stencils. And to start, I'm going to use this Ranger Archival ink. I'm not sure that this will work, but we're going to try it. I may have to use some stays on, but I think my stays on is kind of dried out. But we'll try it. I'm using a makeup sponge from Dollar Tree. Comes in a big pack of them. Um, I'm using that for my stenciling. And I think that's everything. So let's just get started. Okay, so now I also have this Distress Ink or Archival Ink and Barn Door is the color that I would use. And then I have this Tombow pen or marker. So since this is still in the case, I wanted to try this first. And I'm just gonna go in a little area and see if I can color that in. It looks like it's going to work. So let me see. Since it's water based, I don't want it to wrinkle up the vellum. This could take a while. Probably using the ink would be better. And I see the paper is curling. See that? Well, the vellum is curling. So maybe that's not a good idea, but I'll go ahead and finish this section in case I use it for something else. Um, but I want something that's going to cover more area faster and not 
necessarily saturate the paper. And I'm going to keep saying paper, but it's vellum. But yeah, you see, because this is water based, this was curling. Okay. So let's open the ink and see what we can do with the ink. And none of this may work. So just keep that in mind too. And I got to find some kind of container to put the inks in because I have other packages of those that I have not opened yet. So I'm going to get another sponge. How do you open these? Okay. And I wonder if I could just put it directly on there. And I don't have my craft mat in here because I just washed it. And I need a new one. It's got, it's, it's starting to rip. So I think I was going to get on Amazon and try to find myself a good silicone mat. I think I like using the ink better. I like the color better too. It's not so bright, bright, bright. Okay. So that's going to be kind of cool. Hopefully I have enough. So I'm going to use that in the header. So let that dry. I also have some flowers that I have not used yet. Hmm. So I guess I'll piddle around with these and see what I can do. I don't want to do anything too big. And this might just be a concept spread this week without um room to write i don't know we'll see how it goes i wish i had some smaller flowers because i have an idea um that i would like to do do i have smaller flowers i don't think i have a lot of nice floral stamps i have more cartoony floral stamps so let's work with these Okay, so as you can see, I had a little complication there. This ink is still wet. I wonder if it's going to dry. Um, so I probably can't use the ink to color in my flowers. I don't, I, I hope this is going to work. If it doesn't work, y'all are going to see a fail because I'm not going to do anything different. So I'm just going to try and hit this with the heat gun real quick see if that's going to help with the drying just heat set everything it doesn't look like it's helping that's odd that the red is taking so long to dry the black dried almost instantly or maybe I put too much. Yeah, that is so bright. It looks almost day glow. Okay, let's see. 
Is that still wet? A little bit. Is this rubbing off? So it's rubbing off. Is it rubbing off a lot? That's interesting. So, okay. Let's proceed a little further. Let's try to keep all this together. So, I have this one inch double sided tape and the header area here is one inch wide, I believe. So I'm gonna try and use this to turn these into stickers, kind of. So I'm just gonna lay down the tape. And I think I got this double-sided tape from Joanne like a while ago. I bought a whole bunch of it, it was on sale. So, and I'm not going to butt these right up next to each other in case I have an accident. So, there. Just rub that down good. I hope this is going to work. So, that's what we, our header is going to look like. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. Alrighty, so we got our header pieces that are going to go up there somehow, some way, like that. And then maybe I should have made some to go here. But I did pull out some washi tape um, that I could use. I think, if anything, I would probably use the black or. Let's see, I could use this instead. It's more gaudy and that's kind of vampire-y to me. So let's see, I could incorporate this. I think I like those two together, but we have to see how it's gonna look with the rest of what I'm doing here. So I think that's all that I'm gonna color. Let's see what I can do with these flowers. I think I'm just gonna go in over them with the ink. Just like this. Ugh. That's not cute. So why does that look so dark? I might have to stamp these. Oh, it's pulling it up. It's pulling up the ink. It totally just smeared it. So I'm gonna have to stamp those again. I may have to do the flowers on, see there? I may have to do the flowers differently or not do flowers. Yeah, that's a fail. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the tape on the numbers and cut that out. I think I'm gonna use a different size tape though, instead of the whole one inch. Probably should have lined those up a little better. Matter of fact, let's cut this off so that I don't get it all over my mat. And get that out of the way. Hmm. Oh, I don't want to cut into too close to my one. But we don't need that. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside for now. We'll work on that in a minute. So it's ready. I'm going to work on 
Oh, daylight savings time ends on Sunday. Next Sunday. Ooh, that's so good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and measure out the weekend. And do I want it to go all the way up there like that? Because usually I put down my washi before I do this. But we're doing things a little different. So, let's see. Barely have enough here to do this. And then as far as the width, I'm going to go right here. And this time I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to use some black paper with this as well. And I think I can just wait until I cut the sticker paper down and then do the black paper. I'm starting to run out of space here. Let's see if I can put the tape up for now. So I can barely see my little tick mark right there. I hope that's right. So trim. And then trim right here. Then we're going to score where that tick mark is. This is the front. Go ahead and burnish that. Make sure we're on the right side. Yes, okay. So we only did two panels this time, two heights, because I'm gonna put that black paper on here. And I'm gonna... I was thinking I would let some hang off the edge just a little bit, but maybe I won't. I'll save that, do that another time. So I'm just going to glue or put this down on the black paper on the edge, very close to the edge like that. And then Cut around it. Finally start putting stuff down on the page. So I could have just done this whole piece with the black paper and glued it down, but I wanted to be able to write with regular pen on the inside. That is why I just did the black on the outside. Okay. So I'm going to line it up with that bottom line and my side over here. Let's try that again. And put that down. So we've got that ready to go. Now let's decide on this washi tape situation. So I also pulled out this gold as well. And I think this and this together would be good. I wish I kind of wishing I had put the washi tape down first now but luckily this sticker paper doesn't stick immediately so I can pull it up a little bit so let's put the washi underneath there like that trim that up Okay. 
and I think I'm going to do like I did before and go across with the same color instead of doing every other one. So we've done that. Let's go ahead and white out this. I probably should use the sticker paper method, but I don't know that I need to white that out. I'm going to err on the side of not whiting it out. Where's my other piece? Okay. So this is my header piece and I'm going to start from the inside and go out and I want to check since this has been sitting for a while I want to check to see if the ink is still rubbing off yes it is I don't know about this I probably would need to use the stays on ink for something like this or go back to using the marker because I don't think the marker is coming off. It's just such a ugh, color. It doesn't show on camera, I think, but in real life, it's ugh. So, and I'm not doing this upside down. I guess it doesn't matter. Not really. And I don't understand why there's a wrinkle here. Let's go from the other side. But it cut off my paper. No. <laughs> OMG. I'm wondering why isn't this coming off? I'm going to stick it right back on there like that. I'm just going to do it like that. Okay, I had a little boo-boo right there, but we're going to keep it moving. I know not to do that again. So let's go ahead and just measure this before I go any further. I don't know why it's crinkling. But it is. Okay. So I really don't like the way that turned out. You probably can't really see it on camera, but it is looking a little sloppy at the top. Let's see if I can do some repair work up here. This would probably look better in a nice black color. Okay, let's go ahead and cut the tape for this part. And I think it's three eighths of an inch. Yeah. So, move that out of the way. Try to get this right. This spread is looking so junky. <laughs> So I think I'm going to use these to kind of help 
pull this thing together. Um, yeah, because I got some major boo-boos going on here. <laughs> So you see here where I repaired, where I cut through the paper at, um, that's pink from touching the vellum. Next week, we're gonna have to fix that. <laughs> Let's see, I got another piece of flower here. It's got some white stuck on it. Maybe I should do something big up there so that I can cover up the October, November. Maybe since it's peeking through. And I got some gold flowers somewhere that are Happy Planner stickers that I've been kind of saving that I could use. I just don't remember which book they're in. Okay, so I found the flowers here in Botanicals. Do I have some thin black washi that just has hearts on it? I don't think so. I think it all is bows. Let's see, I don't have any with hearts. I think the bows might be okay. Cause this just needs something, something up here at this top part. Yeah, I think the vellum is kind of a fail, but probably would be better if I had a different type of ink. And I know I keep talking about that, but it bugs me that every time I touch it, I come up with red fingers, so. These flowers are from an Etsy shop called Digital Curio. If anyone's interested, I know I had a few people ask me about them on the last video that I used them in. So yeah, Digital Curio on Etsy. We're gonna cut that like that and try to repair this messiness at the top. Mm -hmm. That's not quite straight, but it's good enough. Oh, that's nice the way that loop goes down there. It's getting better. So for these, my tape is not big enough. That means I would have to either double it, waste some tape. I probably should have thought this through a little better before I did it, but I'm just gonna have to waste some tape on this one. I hate to do it, but I must. See my pink fingerprints in there? <laughs> I guess it's just gonna have to go along with the theme of the thing. And I'm not really gonna fussy cut these out. I think I'm just gonna loosely do the shape of them and trim them up. 
and I probably won't even use all of them just a few Let's see how that looks. Okay, that's kind of cool. Let's keep going. Do, do. No, do, do. I don't know. I'm doing them different than what I initially intended, so we'll just see how it goes. But yeah, this is how you can make your own vellum stickers. You can draw on your vellum, print on your vellum, whatever, and then add the tape, turn it into a sticker, I guess. The only thing is, once you put this tape down, it's not coming up like um, you can recover a sticker you can't recover this tape not on at least not on this Dollar Tree paper it's like nope you said you wanted to put me right here and this is where I'm staying So that's looking good. Phew. We're recovering nicely. Had a few mistakes, but we're recovering. So I'll have these pieces to use another time. This, I don't have days. And I don't know if I want to deal with the vellum anymore or not. We need to decide where I'm going to put the days, the dates. I'm going to start with putting down the dates. I'll worry about the days of the week later. Or I might just skip the days of the week. I didn't know. We'll see. But here we go. This is a really a struggle spread, <laughs> but we got that down. The next time I do this, I think I'm gonna try it with some tracing paper. I think the vellum is a little thick. Um, so that makes it a little harder to work with. But, so this is a printable from the seasonal pages, Halloween Vibes, volume one. I also have volume two. Where is it? <laughs> This is volume two. So volume one, volume two. And even if you don't use it this year, it's something good to have in your digital stash, I guess you would say. Um, and you can use the different elements. I mean, you can use the pumpkin for throughout fall, the fall season. So yeah. So I really like this hat um, and the spider. Spider web. I should put this spider web on here. Let's see. Oh no. I'll save it. Okay. But yeah. Really cool. And then you get the full spider web there. So yeah, I tried to print just the skulls 
my printer ran out of ink in the middle of this but i kept it anyway because i thought the purple was cool and then the one where it's like half and half i can just go over that with some ink so i always try to figure out a way when i have misprints and stuff i always try to figure out a way that i can still use the misprint but for this spread i am going to use this skull here and i think i'm going to set him on some flowers and I want to put a bird on his head <laughs> I know you've seen that look so that's the look that I want to go for and I think I was going to turn this this way so that I don't really have to trim anything off the bottom kind of looks like he's eating the I think I'm gonna do it like that so then I'll just trim off these little pieces at the top because you won't be able to see them. So. Okay. And where can we put this? Right here. Yep. Okay. So there's that. I got this teeny little piece right here that I should probably use. I don't know how I'm gonna use it. So maybe I put it right here. Okay, and so I have this crow stamp. And how does this go? I don't know how it's gonna work on here or if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna try and use this little spare piece of vellum right here and stamp that on there. I've never stamped this before, so I need to stamp it on something. I've got a sticky note right here. Let's stamp it on there. <laughs> Ooh, I got it on my desk. <laughs> That's cool. I could see myself using that a lot. So let's go right here. Let's stamp him off on here. use that for something so let's take the tape and tape it up so he's fussy cut out I left a little border around him because I didn't trust myself with these big scissors um, and I could have just printed the stickers, but I, I really wanted to use my stamps. So, how he, is he going to rest on this head, on this skull? I think we're going to go like so. And that's cool. Then I have this gray mild liner. Um, it's the dual end. And I'm just going to try and put a little shadow under there. Give it a little more life, even though it's a skull. <laughs> okay. All right. So I think I'm going to take the easy way out and use the washi tape days of the week because this spread has got me doing the most. And 
I don't know how I'm going to deal with Saturday and Sunday. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Save that. And this tape is getting old. It's starting to turn yellow. And it might be because of where I had it originally stored by my it was in front of the window and that's not a good place to store things in florida <laughs> but i didn't it didn't register then i moved it because they were stored in those those clear drawers from michael's so not only was it bad to have it by the window because of the heat but also because of the sun and then i'm gonna have to move this because we don't want to cover it up put down the Tuesday and then put this back like so um, and if you notice lately I haven't been using a lot of dolls I don't know I might be over it <laughs> but no I I'm I didn't since I was doing dailies I started running low and it just weren't the right dolls for the spread so i just started working around not having a doll on the spread but they're they will be back definitely let me put that above it or should i put it no nope, we'll put it above it since everything is all over the place on this spread anywho anyway so and i might just put Saturday and Sunday on the inside here. No point in complicating matters. Probably should have put the numbers on the inside with them. Is it too late? Because I really don't like the way that looks outside anyway. I think we can do better. Looks a little grungy, probably because of ink on my fingers, but. Okay, I think one last little thing. Since I only have this one flower left, I might as well finish this sheet, right? Let's just finish it. And I see a few places that could use a little help. So if I can get this off of here, these are quite detailed. See how can I do this? Okay, boy, that was a journey. <laughs> okay, so let's pop this back in and wrap this up. So it goes right here. And oh, this book is looking real grungy okay so that is it that's the spread <laughs> so we did a few new things tried out a few things um, and I think it turned out okay considering so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up also, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that little gray bell so that you'll receive notification each time I upload a new video. Be sure to check the community tab and my stories for updates throughout the week. Also, check us out over at patreon.com slash scrapcraftastic for exclusive content and digital downloads. Visit my other channel, Journal Life's Journey, for craft videos and junk journals. You can find me across social media at scrapcraftastic. Visit my website and shop at scrapcraftastic.com. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.